Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. Well, I thought this was a video that I had to do, or I wanted to do, really. Um, and I think um, you guys that do watch my content, especially my gaming content, which has really started to pick up these last 12 months, probably kind of deserve a little bit of an explanation of my thoughts on The Last of Us Part 2 and why um, I haven't a played the game yet and b reviewed the game yet um, so I just wanted to give you my thoughts really on this now I haven't scripted this I haven't wrote anything down I just wanted to talk about it um, at the backdrop of uh, The Last of Us the first game now obviously The Last of Us the first one that came out in 2013 and was remastered on PlayStation 4 is considered by many as an absolute masterpiece myself included that that is a word that I think is banded about banded about an awful lot um, and quite a lot of the times unfairly so um, but I do think in this case of the first game The Last of Us it is absolutely an accurate description of that game I remember playing it at the time and I'm not a fan of zombie games generally speaking um, and it really really affected me that game it was emotional it was just an incredible game uh, from every aspect I love the gameplay the graphics were just stunning um, and above all that it was the first time I'd ever really experienced a game and felt like it was on par with um, like a really incredible movie and I remember thinking at the time playing the game the first one that what an incredible film this is and it, it I felt it was comparable to some of the great movies that have been made and I think it was one of the first times I had played a game and thought you, it could stand proud against film medium that's how strongly I felt about the first game but because the game was so impactful and so emotional and so intense I've only ever played it once I didn't I never really ever felt the need to play it again strangely some people have played it multiple times probably I never ever played with the multiplayer anything like that however I am certainly considering replaying it um, to review it um, on this channel now that being said the first game clearly wonderful wonderful game I think that's universally agreed by most so everybody myself included has been really looking forward to The Last of Us Part 2 Naughty Dog I think personally has been one of the best game publishers stroke studios out there I've played every single Uncharted game I love them all I think they're brilliant brilliant games um, and I think Naughty Dog make top quality stuff um, so they spent a lot of time to get this game right The Last of Us Part 2 and um, I think you could argue that the build up to this game has been overhyped and that's never a good thing certainly in video games you overhype a game and effectively you're going to be disappointed because it's never going to live up to the hype but I believe to a certain degree here that Naughty Dog um, have manipulated that hype for their own means. Now this video is going to contain some spoilers. I know a lot of the things that happen in The Last of Us Part 2 it's been completely unavoidable from obviously I watch a lot of YouTube, I watch a lot of content creators, they've all played the game, I've looked at some live streams of the game I know people personally who've played the game and we've had discussions about the game I'm not that fussed about knowing the spoilers going into playing it um, so I think what Naughty Dog have done in the build up to the release of this game with the teaser trailers and all that kind of stuff um, I've manipulated the gaming public the gaming audience that are looking forward to this game into thinking we're going to get something that we don't actually get um, and then when the leaks first came out several months ago um, and we found out what effectively the story was going to be hands up who was happy about that none of us none of us were happy about these leaks the fact that 
Joel dies very quickly into the game. The fact that uh, essentially it's a basic revenge story and also the fact that uh, halfway through the game you take control of a new character Abbey who effectively is the character that killed Joel a beloved character for many fans of this game certainly the first game um, so that naturally was going to irk a lot of The Last of Us fans those storyline beats um, and that's kind of what I want to address here I, I am I am sure The Last of Us 2 is going to be an incredible game to play. For everything I've seen tells me the, the game looks absolutely stunning on par with the most beautiful looking games on PlayStation 4. They've probably used every ounce of power they can from this system to deliver an incredible looking game. Great, no problem with that. The gameplay looks like to very similar to the first one uh, in regards to the crafting, the sneaking about, the killing, um, uh, the stealth approach. The, everything looks similar to the first game. They've just ramped it up and improved, uh, Im improved the gameplay systems as they did. You, and they've got a reputation for this, Naughty Dog. They've done it with all the Uncharted games. If you play the Uncharted games from one to four, you will see that every single game is an evolution of the last one. Uh, so they learn what they need and want to improve from each game gameplay wise and they improve it for the next time round and each time is an evolution and I think Naughty Dog are brilliant at that and that's clear that they've done this again in The Last of Us Part 2 they've evolved the gameplay made it even better and improved that so I'm sure that's not going to be a problem for me I think the problem that I'm going to have with The Last of Us Part 2 is the story um, I think it's just going to disappoint me. I think they've fallen into that trap, Naughty Dog, of um, overindulgence. Um, and they've tried to almost create the impact in the first game. And we're going to see this shortly, the scene um, where Joel loses his daughter. Um, and let's be honest, the first time any of us played that, played the last of us the first game and that scene took place where he lost loses his daughter if you didn't a have a lump in your throat or b cry then i don't believe you generally speaking it was an incredibly impactful moment and it set up this the the game beautifully now i don't know if that was naughty dog's intention with the second game to try and get a similar shock tactic going however the crucial error that they, that they have made here is the fact that we spent the whole first game with Joel and Ellie and they were building this father father and daughter relationship um, this wonderful beautiful relationship that evolved throughout that story and there was a huge bond created between them and they're both them characters are the heart and soul of this game and for them to just effectively throw Joel on the scrap heap um, for a simple story beat I think is naive from Naughty Dog um, and I agree with a lot of the content creators and fans of the series who say we don't mind that you've killed Joel it's just the way you've killed him I think most people would have preferred to have seen Joel make it through um, certainly a good portion of the game and to maybe give his life in a more heroic manner to save others or to save Ella or to save a community or something that had more meaning and then just for him to die to set up a simple revenge story I think is a bit lazy from Naughty Dog um, and everything that I'm seeing from videos that I'm watching and commentary that I'm seeing about the game is basically saying that um, the story is just not even close to the first one. Everything else is an improvement. Graphics, gameplay, physics, you name it. They've improved on everything. But where they have gone backwards on is in the story which I think is a shame because I think Naughty Dog generally speaking improve in every area every time they put out a game and I think they've 
probably overthought this story a little bit. Uh, the Last of Us Part 2, and I know it's one of the most eagerly anticipated games of all time. It's simple as that. And I know I, I, they probably had immense pressure to deliver. Um, and I know there's been all these stories about Naughty Dog and the, you know, the pressure they've put on the staff there and the crunch and all this kind of stuff. And that's could well be true. Um, but I'm sure the pressure was real to deliver arguably one of the most anticipated games of all time. Um, and I think where they have failed is probably in the story. Now I don't know who came up with the story. Everyone's throwing their name Neil Druckmann about. I have no idea who actually created the story here and everybody that had involvement because I haven't seen the credits for The Last of Us Part 2. Um, but I think it probably needed a more creative approach. Maybe even bringing in a writer to have fresh perspective on the series um, and do something a little bit more creative than what they actually gave us in the story. Now, that's like I said, that's not to say that I am not going to play and review The Last of Us Part 2. I've personally stayed away for it, from it because I don't want to pay full price for a game that I may be disappointed with. Uh, essentially, I'm a small channel. I don't get any review codes for any games I ever review on my channel. Never, ever have that, has that happened. I pay for my own games and I review um, the games that I have paid for personally. Um, so sometimes I will choose to wait for a sale before I buy a game and play it. There are certain games that I will budget for because I just need, I want those games in my life and I'm, we're talking about things like Cyberpunk here. When Cyberpunk comes out I'm going to be there day one. I'm going to be playing that game day one. It's one of my most anticipated games of all time. Simple as that. Uh, the Last of Us Part 2 uh, was a game I've always wanted to play um, and if if the story hadn't have been what they delivered I may well have played it on day one this game but because I knew what the story was going to be and I chose to watch them spoilers that's you know that's uh, that was my choice um, because I know what the story is going to be I decided not to buy this on pawn release but I will I will get this game when it drops into a sale. I will review it fairly. Anybody that watches my reviews knows that I am fair in my reviews and I am very, very honest in my reviews. And I won't uh, be cruel to a game or butcher a game just for views, just for subs, just for likes. If I play The Last of Us Part 2 and I really enjoy it and I have absolutely no issues with anything that they've done, I will be honest and I will tell you if I think the story actually worked and I think it was a fuss over nothing I will say so in my review um, but I just wanted to give you an explanation as to why I haven't as yet bought, played and reviewed The Last of Us Part 2 and that is the reason why um, so yeah I, I, I really thought I owed it to put a video out to explain as to why I haven't done it um, YouTube right now is completely swamped with videos of The Last of Us so um, I, I don't necessarily I didn't necessarily want to add to that but um, I think it was certainly um, a video I felt like I needed to do. It's the first one I've ever really felt like I needed to do uh, a video like this to give an explanation. Um, and yeah, if you have played The Last of Us Part 2, please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this game. Only if you've played it. Don't just speculate or, um, you know, uh, or crap on the game if you haven't played it. I haven't intentionally crapped on the game in this video I've just given you my thoughts on um, why I think people are angry with this game in regards to the direction they've taken with the story um, I can't put it in context yet because I haven't played the game um, which is why I'm not being awful about it or anything like that I just think it's um, something that you can't I'd like everybody's going on Metacritic and um, 
it, there's loads of claims that you know it, it's getting uh, review bombed by people who haven't even played the game well that's just ridiculous you know play the game and review it honestly you know I, I'm fairly sure that this game if I play it if I'm not if I'm not overly keen on the story then um, it, I personally don't think it could be anything less than probably an eight out of ten when you when you when you play the game play in context and things like that um, and just here you know no 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 real surprises here if I were to review and score the first last of us game is a stone called 10 out of 10 I genuinely think that is an incredible masterpiece of a game so that's enough of me ranting and going on about this game let me know in the comments your thoughts on the controversy around the last of us part 2 um, and in the future do look forward to me playing and reviewing the second game because I will eventually do that. Uh, so thanks for your time everybody, thanks for watching and of course I will be back with more content on Screen Stars very very soon.